In soccer, passing the ball to other players, especially within the D-line, needs coordination, cooperation, and the desire to win, sometimes even at the cost of personal excellence. A player is often posed with a tough choice. Should I prove my brilliance or should I contribute to the team? When one makes such sacrifices, then not only do they get more opportunities to be on the winning team, but there is progress for future matches as well. Let's analyze this from the Mahabharat. Bhima and Arjuna both represent this act of passing the ball of victory at the crucial moment. They perform most remarkably, but eventually Yudhishthira gets the credit. Collectively, they win and proceed ahead. But on the Korva side, everyone battles for their own excellence. Bhishma only fought to protect his vow he took before his father. Drona only fought to avenge Drupada. Karna only fought to prove his superiority over Arjuna, and Duryodhana only fought to get the throne, not for the establishment of good governance, but for the position of king. They were all great players, but played the ball only to the extent that it would benefit each one individually, not the whole team. Karna refuses to pass the ball to Bhishma at the crucial time, and they played with one less player. Sri Krishna, with his excellent track record of great coaching, made the Pandavas win because they acquired the technique of passing the ball of glory, giving credit to the other players and the team. So let's play a game in life with Krishna as our coach. We will certainly be on the winning team. So think about it. Be a team player.